Why, hello everyone, Crafty Mama here. Hope you are all having a wonderful day. Well, I am back with what's being called my obsession. This is that with Michelle last week started uh, this little journey into our obsessions, let's just say. And I decided to play along with her and I listed something with my number one obsession, which really isn't my number one obsession. It was just my first video I posted of my obsession. Let's just say I have bigger collections than the item I posted as my number one obsession, sad to say. <laughs> but I'm going to show you something that I didn't even realize. Is, I don't even know if it's an obsession. I didn't really, it just hit me that I have a lot of a certain thing here. So I'm showing you this weird item. Some of you might know what it is. Some of you might not. I'm going to tell you what it is in a second. It is a ribbon magic bowl maker. You might have an idea of where I'm heading with my week two of my obsession. Yes, it's ribbon, folks. Here's some of my ribbon collection. This is an Opry wide ribbon. It has flowers on it. I've got this Berwick, and I'm not going to say all the names of it but just on the first few this is a really neat like gardening theme one ribbon that is lots of ribbon sunflower ribbon which is little black and white designs on it i guess i don't know what those are supposed to be and i have this ribbon which is iridescent love it it is so pretty yes there's wired ribbon fabric ribbon all kinds of ribbon even this bowmaster ribbon that's kind of weird looking. It really kind of just looks like what you probably see on the screen right now. I don't even know how to describe it. I have this white ribbon with gold stars on it. How about some peach ribbon? Yes, we have to have peach ribbon. Yellow ribbon. Why not? Yellow ribbon goes with a lot of things. Red ribbon. Oh my gosh, yes. There's different widths too. I mean... Here's a light pink ribbon. It's quite a wide width, I would say. Then I have lots of curling ribbon. This doesn't even touch on all of them. Just showing you a few. I have this really deep purple ribbon. How about a really pretty green one? A baby blue one. An olive green one. Now we got this pretty plaid one, springtime plaid, and of course I've got more than a few bags of loose ribbons. There is a whole array here. It's a rainbow of ribbon. Then I have these really nice soft satiny ribbons. Got different colors of purple. There's a light purple, a light pink. And yes, I have them put together with a little paper clip to keep them together. Another different shade of yellow, a darker purple. Here's a real thick, velvety feeling, real thick, real wide, I meant to say, velvety feeling ribbon. And then look, on the back, it's like a light mob shiny side to it. And then I have pieces of ribbon that I said, because I love plaid ribbons. There's going to be something I can use it for. I just know it. How about a red and white Swiss dot ribbon? This is my favorite orange ribbon. I'm almost out. I'm going to be sad when it's over. And then here's a very sparkly, shiny, this is actually ribbon. It's black, sparkly ribbon. Who'd have thunk? And I have sparkly gold because I love sparkly, shiny things. There's cupcake ribbon. How about just a cute flower one? Maybe a tree one. Who? You know, I love trees. It'll come in handy. How about this brown one with orange little threads going through it? There's a beautiful white floral ribbon. Looks like it's stitched, but this is actually printed on the ribbon. And even this black one with these iridescent flowers on it. Super pretty. Again, it's printed on the ribbon. Here I have butterfly themed. Love my butterflies. And here I'm plaid crazy. We've got this plaid. We've got the black and red plaid. We've got the Christmas plaid. How about them Thanksgiving ribbon? This is so cute. It's got so many things on this ribbon. Minions! Yup, I love me some minions. They just cracked me up. I don't know what I'm going to use it on, but I'm sure I'll find something. Here's my favorite ribbon I bought. 
These are like 3D flowers. I'm sure they'll look beautiful on one of the journals I end up making or put it on a basket, a box, anywhere. I'll find somewhere. Ooh, you know I love my owls. Of course I have owl ribbon. Look at how cute they are. But this isn't all the ribbon I have. I still have a box full, a basket full, and some of those huge spools from the Michaels boxes I got a couple of years ago that I'm going to use. I will use it someday. Is it possible to be obsessed with something and not even realize you have the obsession? This is what's happened to me as I look back on my ribbon collection. Well, I guess it's a good thing I have all that ribbon because as I showed you in the beginning, I have this ribbon maker. I also have a bow jabber maker. And then I found this in my ribbon box. Quick and easy, holiday anytime bow maker. Contains a star bow maker, six feet of ribbon, and instructions. What? It's just a thin little package. I'm figuring maybe I must have lost the bow maker part. I can feel there's like some ribbon in there. So let me show you the ribbon that's in the package. And it's a pretty gold ribbon. But then also I found this in there. And it is literally a flat piece of plastic shaped like a star. And this is supposed to be the bow maker. Well, I guess I'm going to have to try it because I've definitely got the ribbon, right? Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you'll join in along and put up a video showing what your obsession is or obsessions. Do you have more than one? I know I do. And apparently some are secret obsessions. I don't even know I have. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I'm so glad you stopped by and spent some time with me, Crafty Mama. Until next time, next obsession, or next video, bye-bye for now.